Ooh. Well, our control plan looks like it's coming together. Like, Wrath of God is Wrath of God. So let's just take that. Uh, squadron Hawks. Wish I could take the Squadron Hawks, but it's not like we want that in our deck. Foil Ley Line. Like, I don't think we can actually pick up. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can pick up any Squadron Hawks at this point. I don't think there's a reason to take it. And look, I already have two cancels. I don't want to overload my deck with a bunch of cancels. And there's literally no other card in this pack for us, so I'm gonna, you know, shamelessly rare draft on camera, so. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's a big bomb that we want to play. Like, it's pretty slow, but it can be game winning just by itself. And considering, like, the type of deck that we want to play, I think it fits perfectly into this style of deck. So, yep. Yeah, that last visible. Uh, it's like passive or wild griffin, but again, like, we want to be defensive, and more removal spells is just always good. So, like, we're a little light on creatures, but that's kind of that's fine with this kind of deck. Phantom Beast is actually okay here because if they trade with like a card for this, we're fine with that in, in either key situation. Otherwise, it's like a big guy that can't get through. So overall, it's not too bad. Um, like Excommunicate's pretty good in like an aggressive tempo-ish deck, but let's see. I mean, do I want a second on summon? Or a save passage? I mean, I think I'd rather have excommunicate. Uh... Will I play preordain over something in this deck? Probably, because we just need to dig for stuff. So, yeah, I'll play preordain. Man, if we had that conundrum sphinx. We have a preordain, augury owl, and a foresee. Pretty sick. I actually like preordain more than save passage, so that's a fine cut. This deck doesn't look too bad. Uh, don't mind having a sideboard negate. I'd rather have two cancels main than a negate and a cancel, just because you know you don't want to have the awkward situation where you're holding the negate and plays a creature that you can't deal with. Uh, I'd like to have a sideboard solemn offerings just in case. Um, there's nothing deck right here. I'll just cut the tunneler. Uh, we want all the siege mastodons we want. Um, yeah, like I think this deck really only has two ways to win, but I guess we'll scratch that. I have this too, but. Oh, we'll see where it goes. Like we got a lot of card draw here, so a lot of card draw, so we should be able to get our bombs out fairly consistently in this sort of a deck. I think that we actually want to run 18 lands in this style deck, so I'm not sure what we're going to cut, but well, we'll see what happens in a bit.
let's get to deck building. Um, so I'll put all the auto includes in here. Um, I'm gonna put Phantom Beast on the side for right now. Uh, I'll put Diminish on the side too. Communicate, sit there too. Um, so, as is, we have 21 cards with 11 creatures. Um, so, if we sort it out, I'm going to count my control as a creature because it really should be most of the time. So, effectively, like 12 creatures, if you think of it that way. Um, Like considering we have, so we're sort of light on creatures. Like the option is between these three cards, and I mean I don't think diminish is a great card for us. I mean you can turn their big giant green creature into a one one. We can kill with any of our creatures, but considering we're light on creatures, it's not gonna be that good. So if we're just using it to like you know semi fog a guy, it's not that great. So it's a card that needs, you know, more work, more things for it to work well, so I don't really want to play it right now. It's probably between these two cards. Um, depends on what we want. Like, cause I think all our deck wants is time. Um, Phantom Beast is like a decent blocker and can randomly get in there, so it's like a semi-win condition, but it's also, you know, fragile because of his whole yeah, ice caged factor, so... Uh, I think excommunicates the card we want. Even if it's just like, you know, like buys us one turn, that one turn could matter. If it is like effectively stabilizing with Wrath of God and then playing a giant bomb that they can't deal with. So yeah, I think that's what we want in here. Um like I'm a little weary the fact that we only have about like eleven actual creatures and like one's a wall and a few of them like are just like tiny and can't really do much in the late game. But I mean the way we have some ways to get around that. Also, excommunicate helps us get our scroll threes through and pacifism as well. So, I'm surprised that like no ice cages came back. We did see the unsummon come back, but I really didn't want to pick it up at that point. I mean, we had a choice at some point as well. They could unsummon over excommunicate, and I think excommunicate's fine if it buys you exactly one turn. That's enough. So, yeah, I think this is how we're gonna run it. So I'm going to need 18 lines here, let's see what the uh, distribution looks like. S uh, I don't think we want 7, especially not with this bad boy. So we're probably going to up this to at least 8. Um, got like double cancel wall of frost on 3, fire seven jaces, that guy. You can go 9-9, nine, nine. it's a little sketchy. I mean, we have a lot more blue than everything else. I think this is fine. I mean, we have a lot of card draws, so getting three planes out by the time that come that guy comes around should be not a big deal. So yeah, I think it should be okay. Like we need to prioritize all the blue spells because like the double cancels and all our card drawing spells. So yeah, it's fine. <laughs>